Welcome to IT Boost YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show how to make a modern garage porch using model in place tool. When you want to create an architectural feature or work on a conservation project, you often have to create walls, stairs, rails and other features that is one of the model in place tool lets you to enter the model in place command and allow you to create the objects. The tool allows you to draw solid geometry. Under the models, I will click new and I will take a template, imperial architecture template and I will press OK. So I will set the levels first. I will go to north elevation and I will change the default 10 feet to 12 feet because I am going to make a 12 uh, feet uh, height in wall. So I change the level to 12 feet. Now I will go to level 1. I will select the wall tool in the architecture tab wall. I will use the generic wall uh, 8 inch in default. And I will make the wall height to 12 feet. And I will draw a wall around 36, right? Around 48. And another 48. That's up to you. It's not must to have the same. Okay. So this is my wall. And I will create a floor also. I will click floor. I will select the default floor, generic 12 inch. And I will make the offset initially 3 feet. And I will finish that one. Now what I do, I will select this one. Right? Be careful not to select elevation. Select only the wall and the floor. Click copy to clipboard, click paste, align to selected levels and select the level 2 and press OK. So this way you have the same thing in your level 2, right? level 1. You want to go to view, default 3D view, this is your 3D view, right. Now I will come back and again to the level 1. And I will select the floor, I will do small modification, click edit boundary and I will right. I will make a right, 21 foot after that and I will finish that one and I will make another floor also to assign different materials. I will go to floor, same uh, or make a duplicate because I'll, I'll go to edit type I'll duplicate and I'll say generic uh, 12 inch 2 and ok and I'll take the rectangle and I'll draw a rectangle something like this right? because to assign two different materials so go to your 3d view here you will have that one I'll go to my level 2 and I will select this one and I will select edit boundary and that one also I will bring up to this 21 foot. Okay. Now click finish. Right. Now go to your 3D view. Now I am going to use model in place. So go to component. Click model in place right that creates a component that is unique to the project right uh, see the description the component exists only to the context of the current project and it cannot be loaded into other projects right it will be unique only for this project just think the families what we use the families this also family but we are placing in model the families are can be used it's not unique the table chairs chairs are can be used for other project also not unique for a particular project but when you make a model in place that is unique for this project right and it cannot be used for other project because that is unique only for this one so i'll click model in place 
So it will ask to create the category. What is the category? Family category. So if you don't have a specific one, you can go to the generic model. I'll go to the generic model in this case and press OK. Uh, you can name it. I'll say arc, arc, arc uh, wall or whatever, right? Arc wall. Okay. Now I have to set a plane. Right? Click set work plane and click work pick work plane you have a pick work plane and press ok and select this front side face here this face carefully see my mouse so now the plane is here if you want to show here the plane is there right now go to extrusion right give the depth as four feet and take the start in radius arch tool click the first point here and the second point here give a radius right I will give something like this okay press escape take pick line give a offset one foot according to the floor thickness okay now check the line Make this offset zero. Check the line and draw a line here to here and here to here. And take the trim extent corner and trim that one. Right. Now click finish. Right. So this came this side. So I will make the depth this one to minus four feet. So they will go like that. You see. Now if you want you can assign a material also, so I will go material, click here, I uh, will create a new material, I will name that one arc wall or floor whatever you want, so I will select that one arc wall and open the close open the access browser. I will go to appearance library and I'll select the wall paint and I'll select this uh, beach color right that's up to you and apply and okay yeah if you want you can make it realistic and see yeah right now select that one uh, right we will do a small wide also to make a, another design so we can learn that one also so i'll go again to the wireframe so easy go to create click white form wide extrusion and the depth is uh four feet uh, no not four feet we'll make it two inch right uh and i will take start sorry start and radius arch so from the middle to this middle okay. click that one again pick line uh, uh, give a offset around one inch one inch yeah one inch will be fine so two inch will be voided you want the line is thickness here change the scale right now take the modify tool and delete the middle line and take a line and close this one this side also take the line uh, you have to and close it or you can trim and extend also something went wrong I, what i do i will draw a line and take trim and extend that will be fine right now click finish right now go to your realistic if you want you can see the void yeah that is a void okay right now what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this one so select this one 
select the, uh, the extrusion and press the control key and select the uh, better to make it wireframe. So select the extrusion and the void also. Press the control key and select the void both. And go to the level two and click copy and uh, click multiple and const and tick the constraint and click here uh, make it around eight feet from another eight feet uh, from another eight feet another eight feet another eight feet and uh, you can go to 3d view and you can check that one here make it realistic yeah right now we'll make there is a gap we'll play some glass for that also i'm going to use model in place so i will finish this model so you can finish this model right now go to architecture go to component place a component sorry not place a component component model in place again i will select the generic model okay and i will name it as uh, arc glass and press ok again same like we will set the plane set work plane click plane ok click here and make sure that the plane is fine right now go to extrusion and the depth i will give four feet again uh, and i will select start and radius arch you want make it wireframe if you, if you feel difficult better to make it uh, here and the line i'll make it wireframe so we can see clearly the lines yeah All right now i'll select thick line and it's a glass no i will give a offset a thick small 0.25 inch because it's a glass quarter inch thick glass click here take the line tool make the offset zero and we want change this one a little bit smaller so a line Here also same like a line. Select uh, trim and extend. Uh, now click finish. Click finish. We want to go to realistic, and we will assign a material out for that one here. It's not a, right. Select that one go to material uh, here in default there is a glass i can assign that one here glass so clearing glass i will go to the glass double click that one it's a sign now see right now select that one go to level two click copy and click here untick the constraint here one, here one, here one, here one, and here one. I think that space is not here. Right, we can adjust the floor, right? Now go finish, click now we can finish the model. Go to 3D view. Here, uh, click finish model. Right, that's fine. Now if you want, you can make it uh, realistic is there, right, in realistic. So here, we have, we can make a, nice uh, modern car porch or car parking right so try this one i hope you enjoyed the video and learn how to make a modern car porch using model in place tool if you didn't subscribe our channel please subscribe our channel if you have any question comment in the comment box